Scalping gold is hard and it is harder when it comes down to scalping on one minute chart. Why? Because gold is highly volatile and especially if you don't have enough experience and strategy, it becomes much more difficult trading on the lower time frame. And this is exactly the same problem that I faced when I started to trade on lower time frame, especially scalping on one minute on gold until I saw the missing piece of my strategy, which is what I called fourth dimension in trading. Now this cannot be back tested. You can understand all the strategy, back test everything, but there is something that cannot be back tested. To make sense of fourth dimension using Google. Now you can see that time is the fourth dimension. And that is why the strategy named on this important aspect of the strategy that I am trading every single day, which is the time. Now that cannot be back tested. Why? Because you can find all the candles in the chart that I called already sleeping candles. They are already closed and you cannot find out what happened during the period of this candlestick pattern. As an example, if you look at a daily candle, you can see that that candle is closed and you only can see the full body in it. What happened during that period of this candle cannot be back tested. And that is what that I'm going to teach you how to find that fourth dimension in that strategy that you can use every single day in your scalping strategy. If you are interested on this, make sure you give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet. So without further delay, let's get started. <clears throat> okay, today. so before I go to the chart and show you how to implement that strategy on the lower time frame, let's quickly understand what to look for before we enter any trade with this strategy. Now in this strategy we will be using higher time frame as well as the lower time frame. First we will talk about the three dimension and then we will be looking at the fourth dimension that we are talking about the timing. So what are these three dimensions? The first one that we look at is the market structure. That means that trend. To first, we need to understand the major direction of the trend. Now, higher time frame can be daily, four hour, or other lower time frame such as the one hour. Whatever reference time frame you want to take as a higher time frame. As we will be trading on one minute. I will not go below the one hour when we are looking at the higher time frame. So the first step is to find a higher time frame candlestick that has already moved in its major direction well above. For example, if we look at the four hour or let's say the daily candlestick pattern, let's assume that this is daily candle. That candle opened during the Asian session and the market has moved well above during this time period until the London session. Once the candle has already moved in the major direction well above, we will be waiting during that time period for the market to come back again to the support level either to daily open or even the lowest point of that time period the market has moved this is the first step guys keep in mind that you need to understand the market structure based on the higher time frame it can be the same with the four hour time frame or other time frame that you will be looking at 
in terms of four hour we will be looking the same market structure we need to look at the market structure that means the direction of the trend on that higher time frame it is four hour then we will be looking at the four hour time frame the first step is to look for a candlestick pattern that has already moved then how far it should be moving i would consider at least one atr move how do you find the atr you can search the indicator where you can find atr that means that average true range now once we see the market has moved well to the direction of the trend during that time period of that candle you want to see that it has moved well below again to its opening or even to the lowest point it has previously came and the next step once we find that zone the next step is to look at one minute chart now another important aspect of this strategy is that we need to see that when the market has dropped well below to the support level of this time frame that means that higher time frame we should have enough time for that candle what do i mean by this for example if it is the four hour candle then we would prefer the market to come back again in two hours time that means that we still have well enough time for the market to go back up again to the major direction of the trend once we find that zone we will mark it out like this one here as a support and then jump on the one minute chart and wait for the second dimension that means that price section confirmation so what is that price section confirmation that you want to look at if you are looking at one minute chart as we could see that when the market dropped to that daily support level or the four hour time frame that support in an uptrending market we need to see that in that one minute chart though i will show you in the real chart first let us understand the market has formed a reversal pattern or any kind of confirmation that the market is preparing for another bounce now the reversal confirmation can be an inverted head and shoulder or strong double bottom or long consolidation and slowly break out to the upside and that's the sign that the market again preparing for traveling to its major direction of the trend and once we get into that the second dimension price action confirmation we need the third dimensional confirmation which is the liquidity so what is liquidity liquidity is the fuel of the market liquidity will inform you that the smart money also trading with you as a retail trader the most important part for us is to look at the smart money trading strategy once smart money getting into the market the market is prepared for a takeoff and that's where we would like to get into the trade once we see that the the liquidity grab from the price action confirmation as well as the liquidity trigger we will be looking for that potential entry no we need the fourth dimensional confirmation this is the missing piece of the puzzle what is that fourth dimensional confirmation as i mentioned it cannot be back tested guys so make sure that you understand it as it only can be understood from observation and experience keep in mind that observation is the key once you observe you understand 
how it works. So if you see the same setup in early Asian session, early Tokyo session, in London session, in NY session, it is not going to be the same. So you need to understand that at what time period or what is the timing of that setup to happen will determine the probability of that trade. Guys, keep in mind that trading is all about probability. Once you understand the probability, you know that your edge is higher and higher and you start to gain more and more confidence from your trading. So if I list out some of the timing that you need to look at when you are entering the trade, you can see on the screen, these are the timing that I look at when I enter the trade. Now this timing is not exact guidance but a reference. You can find your own timing if you have enough time to observe. But these are the timing that I can use in my strategy to find a higher probability trade setup. This is the simplest way. Once we enter the trade, the next step is to do the risk management and leave the rest on the market with a higher profit target. So let's look at the chart to understand exactly how to find this kind of setup so that you can straight away use as soon as you finish this video. Okay, so let's begin with this one as the first step for us is to find the major direction of the trend. Now, if you look at this chart that I'm replaying on XAU USD on the daily chart, the first step is to find out which is the major direction of the trend. Now you can see that it, it is in an uptrending market, right? So if you look at here from here, a bounce, a pullback, another bounce, pullback. So we have seen that after this, there was a break of the structure and then another bounce, pullback. It is in another impulsive phase. So basically the market structure is bullish how do you know when you see a market creating series of higher high and higher low which is in an uptrending market structure now as an added confirmation we can use 10 and 20 ema as an added confirmation as you can see that when 20 ema is below 10 ema is above which we will be considering as an uptrending market structure now once we see that the market structure on that on this xae usd on the daily time frame is bullish we will be looking for buying opportunity in this market now if you look at this daily candle now as i mentioned it cannot be back tested why because when you look at a market after the candle close we cannot know that what happened during the lifetime of that candle. Now, let's go down to the lower time frame to see exactly what happened during that lifetime of this daily candle. Now, as we have drawn that support, we are now on one minute chart to understand that what happened during that time period of that daily candle. Now, you can see that. The market open around this area where we can see this is the daily support and once the market open we have seen that after little consolidation the market bounce and quite a few minutes almost more than hour the market traded to the upside that means that in the direction of the daily trend once the market traded to the upside what we have seen that the market again drop back to the daily support now this is what we are discussing about we need to wait for a move in the major direction on that means that in that case on the daily trend is bullish in the direction of the bullish trend and then to drop the market to that support level again on the lower time frame now you can see this is the one minute chart 
and the market has dropped to that support level the market again bounced back to the resistance line and again we have seen the prices drop to the same level that is the daily support form a double bottom and bounce back up and then it didn't look back has moved well above in the major direction of the trend now once we understand that daily support if you closely look at either we enter here with this inverted head and shoulder or we can enter in this double bottom either cases we can enter in the direction as long as the market drop to that daily support where we are looking to enter our main observation here is to look for a market that has made a move in the major direction and then drop back down to the support level when we are trading on the lower time frame now once we find that price action confirmation that pattern our job is to look for entry stop loss couple of pips below that major support level and then look for higher reward to risk when we are entering that is all with the proper risk management now let's see a couple of more examples to see how to find this high probability strategy to trade the market every single day okay so we will look at another very important example if you look at again daily chart on xau usd i'm replaying this chart to understand exactly how it works now this is the daily candle as you can see back to back four days of a strong drop which is in a downtrend the market cross that 20 ema and 10 ema and also it is a completely falling market now in that downtrending market what we can see that xau usd currently trending down and once this daily candle closed as you can see as a red candle we see that this market in fact in a strong downtrend but at the same time once the candle closed we don't know that what happened exactly during that time period of that daily candle until we go to that lower time frame now let's first mark down to that point of this high during that daily time frame and going to the lower time frame slowly to understand exactly what was the price section during that candlestick pattern now if we look at this one minute chart we see a completely different picture now you can see that this is the opening of this daily candle and once we see that the daily candle open we have seen that there is a massive drop during that time period after quite a few hours of drop we see the market has gone back up again to that daily resistance line and that's where the entry is not only that we need to see other confluences such as the reversal confirmation as well as the liquidity grab now if you closely look at we can see that after the market retesting this level what do we see the market has formed this double top and then we can see that initially there was a, a breakdown but still we need further confirmation until we see that reversal pattern formation we are not on that trade and as you can see after liquidity grab which is the third confluence that we will be using we need to see the market drop down from that level now as i mentioned this strategy cannot be back tested we need to use the fourth dimension which is the timing now 
this can be an entry or not because we need to also look at that reversal confirmation happened during the specific timing that we have listed now if it is not the entry we could look for this entry now if you can look at the same level once the market drop again the price slowly return back to the same resistance and cross that one also and there is a massive rejection from that level now if this rejection during that timing we will be entering the trade stop loss above all this low so that we have enough space and we will be targeting at least three to five time reward to risk guys this is the best strategy that i use every single day and i believe that you guys also understood it found value in it if you find value make sure you thumbs up this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet so with that said thank you very much and i'll see you very soon trading live together until that stay well stay happy